Hello, fellow safety and health professional, and welcome to another podcast in a series of podcasts based on an article in Safety and Health magazine that's all about you. Feeling appreciated is one of life's great delights. To find out that your words or actions are appreciated and have made a positive difference in people's lives can turn a drab day into a great one. Although I enjoy the attention and bit of fame I get when I give a keynote at a convention or company event, it's the, your talk gave me so many tools to help handle my anxiety. Thank you, Richard. Those type of responses that I hear afterwards at times, you know, they make me feel great. I, that's what I enjoy the most is knowing that I've made a difference in people's lives and that they appreciate it. Sadly, showing appreciation is often underappreciated. To appreciate something means to recognize its full worth and impact. Although similar in a few aspects to gratitude, appreciation isn't the same. Uh, for example, I'm grateful that I have plenty of food and water. But to truly appreciate my abundance, I need to think about what my life would be like without enough to eat and drink. Appreciation also includes thinking about the effort and resources it took to get your sustenance, to get what you have. Now, as I was writing this article, I was drinking a cup of coffee. Uh, and getting this coffee to me uh, involved people who planted the seeds to grow the coffee plants, harvesters who collected the coffee beans, truck drivers who drove the product to the docks. It took longshoremen, sailors, accountants, store owners, advertisers, cashiers, oh, and a myriad of other people were involved in the process too, just to get me a cup of coffee. Now, thinking about this makes me actually feel kind of bad that I don't appreciate my coffee more often and, and deeper than I do. You know, sometimes you're just drinking your coffee and you're busy doing stuff. Now, one area in our lives in which showing appreciation can have a profound effect is our relationships at home and work. I've been married for 43 years. Yes, 43 years to the same person, to my wife, Jackie. Uh, we're still together for a variety of reasons, including our affection for each other. We laugh a lot together. Uh, however, for the past few years, something ha that has helped us enjoy our companionship even more is expressing appreciation to one another, even for little things such as cleaning up, making a meal, uh, when Jackie does research for me, I really appreciate it. Or going food shopping, those type of things. The same is true for relationships at work, too. If you let a crew know when you appreciate the things that they do, the efforts they do to work safely, and why, you know, such as they always tie off or they keep their work site tidy or all, they always let you know when something isn't quite right, it'll have a substantial impact. Not only will it help you create a bond and increase your influence as a safety and health professional with the crew, but it'll also brighten their day. You have to purposely practice, though. I'm saying it again, and I've said it in many articles, but it still stands true. To get better at any skill, whether it's physical, mental, or social, you must purposely practice it. To strengthen my appreciation muscle, I make it a point to think about and show appreciation to everyone who serves me whether they're the cashier at a grocery store, my dentist, or the person who attends the recycling bin at my county landfill, I make him laugh a lot. And I do that as often as I can, you know, show appreciation and be lighthearted, thank them for waiting on me. Similarly, every audience I speak to receives a strong dose of my appreciation, both inside my heart and mind, and I also tell them that I appreciate their attention particularly. No matter how many people it includes, whether it's just a few or hundreds. Now, when coworkers attend one of your safety and health meetings or training sessions, you should do the same. Let them know how much you appreciate their attention. And attention is difficult to get nowadays in our overstimulated world, so you should appreciate it when you do get it. Appreciate yourself too. This may sound a bit unusual, but you should show yourself appreciation. You're not being egotistical or inwardly boastful. It's more a matter of recognizing the positive aspects of who you are and what you do. Here's an example. 
When I make a smart decision, such as going to bed early, rather than staying up and watching TV or going to a club I hang out at and playing pool, I appreciate my good judgment in opting for the benefits I'll gain from getting quality sleep in response to my desire to do something that just brings temporary pleasure. Appreciating yourself and your behavior also makes it more likely that it'll be repeated. In other words, I'll be more likely now to uh, go to bed at a decent time. Once I do it regularly, it'll be more likely to continue. So in conclusion, I'd like to express my appreciation for the precious time you've taken to read or listen to all about you. If my ideas and encouragement have helped you, please let me know and tell me why. It'll give, give me great pleasure to read your appreciative comments.